Hey, what's up guys? How y'all doing tonight? Um, I got my new mic, so it should be good. And we are recording it looks like. There we go. So, today I'm gonna make a little bit different video. I usually don't make, like, tutorial videos, but I guess today I decided I wanted to, so... I guess that's what we're gonna be doing. So, to start off, I just wanted to say thank you all for so much, or all of the support that I've been getting recently. It helps a ton, and it makes me want to just keep making videos, and so yeah. Helps a ton. Here's my OBS section. Um, what I'm gonna be teaching you how to do today is set up one Streamlabs slash Stream Labels and Restream IO. So, your Streamlabs or Labels. Sorry, it's a very simple program. Um, pretty much, you log in with your YouTube, and it can track all of your events, meaning your subscriptions or your donations, and all that great, all that good stuff. So if you go into um, change output di directory, you can see um, all these different file locations of your computer. I have it to um, go to stream labels. And what it does is stream labels generates a lot of files and it puts um, many different things in. So like if I go to file settings, um, the total YouTube subscriber count.txt file, this is what it says in it. So um, if I wanted to go to my OBS, right? Here, oh wait, hold up. Right here. I can go to um, random, and then move that off so it's less distracting. I'll go down here and um, click add scene, text GDI plus, um, and then you'll want to click. You can type in whatever you want, and it'll pop up. See it up right there. Uh, whatever I'm typing in pops up. But what I'm gonna do is read from file. I'm gonna browse for a file, and then I'm gonna go onto my thing over here and click stream labels and you'll see all of these guys right here so like here's my donations I've got my subs and sponsors and uh, other donations YouTube twitch all that good stuff so um, if I wanted to do all-time top donators dot text I could I click that and it automatically puts it in somewhere and then you can see it's right here here are all of my donators um, so yeah that's pretty easy. Uh, that's just the text GDIs. So I'm going to show you now how to get that to um, onto your stream. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go to Streamlabs. Let's get rid of that. Um, you'll see here's all my stats from the year. I've gotten over 270. I've gotten about 270 dollars. Uh, 195 more subscribers. Um, nine donations. Um, there's all this good stuff. Yeah. And then I can, um, have this repeat stuff so you'll hear it go off. Oh, I have two OBSs open, so that's why you hear that, um, twice. Or here's this one. Sorry, it's so loud, but Keep that's it up, so bro. But yeah, so, um, how to set those up is you go over to alert box and what you have to do over here is just log in with your YouTube or Twitch. It works with Twitch as well. So if you stream on Twitch, that will work as well. Um, and then uh, you can go over to donations. You can set your GIF and your uh, your sound it'll make. And you can change your text to speech settings if you want that on or your donation, donator message, font, alert, whatever. You can, all cu you can customize that pretty easily. Um, you can set a donation goal. That's what I also have in the bottom corner. Um, here's my new graphics card uh, with 71 days to go. I'm trying to raise $700 for a new one, so wish me luck on that goal. Um, they're pretty expensive, so so I'm trying to do that. Um, so I've got that, and you can change your settings and all that goodness. Actually, I'm gonna do that because I like that night. I like that better. Um, I'm gonna change that to blue. Yeah. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like that. No. Rip. There. I'll <laughs> leave that. <laughs> I want to stop, um... I want to stop... Messing with things. Anyway. So there's that. Let's save those settings. Um, and then you can go over to Stream Labels. And this is where you download this program right here. Um, you can download it for Windows or OS X if you're on a Mac. And it'll come soon with Linux, but not quite yet. Next, you can go to the chat box. Um, pretty much just shows the chat. Now, you could do this, but I don't prefer to use this. 
Um, I could, but I don't enjoy it as much as this other program that I have. But you can use it. It's been broken for a while, so yeah. Um, your event list, as I already showed you, and your wish list for anything you want. Now, on to the next one here. Here's my donations. I think I've donated a few things. Oh no, these are d donations to me. I see. <laughs> yeah. So, now we're going to go on to Restream. Restream.io is a little program that will help you stream to all different um, streaming services, meaning Twitch, YouTube, that's all I can think of right now. I can't think of any other ones. Um, but it just helps you stream to all those other guys. Um, and so you can go to titles, social alerts. But what I use it is I use it for the chat box. So you chat. Um, you can, it uses chat. It'll show you chat from both Twitch and YouTube. Um, so that helps if you're streaming to multiple of them at a time. But I just use it to show it on screen pretty much. Um, so what you want to do is download the app. And then um, once you download that, you want to come over here. Um, and it'll show you your chat box. You can make it bigger or smaller depending on what you want to see. And then you, if you want to get it into your um, OBS, you want to go over here to settings. And then you want to click on appearance to check all that out depending on how you want to see it. And then embed chat and stream. And so you're going to copy this link here um, and set your settings for how you want the chat to look. And then after that, you're going to paste that into a browser source. Oops, did not mean to do that. My bad. Um, uh, there we go. So, what you're going to do is add and then browser source. And then you go and you set it up. So the browser source, I'm not going to type the link in, but you put the URL right here. Or you can have it do a local file, but I'll have it do this. And so say I wanted it to do uh, my website, which is not done yet, by the way. Still working on it. I, it'll show my website and I can... Uh, yeah. See, so it's it's pretty nice. Um, it works out just about the way you'd want it. Um, I can show you, I guess. I'll get that little link. Copy. Um, property. Uh, nope. Rip. Properties. Um, and now it's not going to show any uh, chat right now. But as you can see right there, it says the chat is uh, ready to display messages. And so you can set it up to wherever you want it to be. And it's just about as simple as it gets. It's a very simple um, program, and it's a very simple uh, user interface. So as long as there's nothing I miss, stream labels, text VDI, browser source, I think that's about it. So um, thank you guys all so much for tuning in uh, to this video. It's a little bit different video than I usually um, than I usually make, but uh, hey, a lot of people were asking me about it, so that's how we do it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.